Solving linear. Okay, so when I have an equation, we've got brackets on this side and we have a variable on this side, so we've got variables on both sides of the equation. And just like bed mass, the first thing we're going to want to do is expand those brackets to get rid of the brackets so we can start moving the terms around so I get the terms on one side of the equation and the constant terms on the other side of the equation and we can go with there. So let's expand it first and see what we get. Okay, so we expand it and now we want the variable terms on one side, these are the variable terms, and the constant terms on the other side of the equation. And remember, this is what we're talking about with sides of the equations, left side, right side. Now, some people did that swap um, right away, and they just moved that positive 2x over, making it negative 2x, and that positive 3 over to the other side, making it negative 3. Now, I just want to point out, because this happened the other day, that 7 didn't change size, so it stays a positive 7. It didn't go anywhere. All right, so that's why it remains positive. Now I collect like terms. 6x minus 2x is 4x, and negative 3 plus 7 is positive 4. And my last step is just going to be to divide by whatever the coefficient is, and the coefficient is 4 in this case. So we get x equals 1 for the solution, the value of the variable that makes the equation true. And we can check it if we want to. By, by taking our solution and substituting it back into the original equation. If you have time to do that. Let's try another one. Okay, so we've got this one. I'm going to have to expand and expand. And I'm going to have a bit more to do because I'm going to have to collect like terms on the, on the left side. So let's try expanding this. And remember, when I expand this part, I'm multiplying the 5 through. And when I expand this part, I'm multiplying not the 2 through, but that negative 2 all the way through. So let's give that a go. So I expand it and I get this expression right here. And the first thing I do before I start moving the terms around to, others, to the other side of the equal sign, I need to clean this up. I need to collect like terms just on the left side of the equation. So I can look at the constant terms and 20 minus 20, well that gives me 0. So those, those cancel each other out. And negative 15x plus 2x you can actually do that on the calculator because when you collect like terms, you're just looking at the coefficients and negative 15 plus 2, which gives me negative 13x equals 5x. Let's check this one out. This one's a bit different because I don't have any constant terms. I don't have anything like a 7 or a 4. They both have variables. So let's still put the variable terms on one side. And then I collect like terms on the left side. And I actually do have a constant term. It's just 0. All right? 0 is a constant term. And that happened when I subtracted that 5x over there. You don't leave it blank. Uh, 5x, take away 5x gives me 0. So now what I am doing is I'm actually dividing that constant term by the coefficient and I am getting a value and that value is just zero <laughs> let's try this last example so we're going to expand 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 collect like terms over here move the terms around so I have the variable terms on the left side and the constant terms on the right side and see what we get. So let's try expanding these two first. That's what I get when I expand the left side. Okay, how does that look? No more brackets. That minus 7 wasn't part of the brackets there, so that's just floating along. Collect like terms on the left, collect like terms on the right, and we we clean the equation up before we start moving the terms around, before we start using the properties of equations. Let's collect like terms on the left. 
negative 1x. And that negative 1 coefficient, you don't really need that 1, but I'm just going to keep it in the working stage, and that's fine. We'll deal with it later. And now I'll collect like terms on the right side. Okay, so that's an interesting looking equation right there. Now let's get that negative 2x over there and get that negative 2 to the other side and just swap the signs when you do it. So go ahead and do that now. And I should get something like that. Collect these variable terms over here. Negative 1x plus 2x just gives me 1x, but I won't write the 1. I'll just write the x. And when I collect the like terms on the right side, since this x has no coefficient, I won't have to divide anything on that last step. And we get our solution of 3, x equals 3.